Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is a video series called Topics. On today's episode of Topics, we're going to be talking about putting on the full armor of God and being prepared for spiritual warfare. Starting in verse 10 of Ephesians chapter 6. Finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as a shoe for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the fam flaming darts of the evil one. And therefore, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication, to the end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. And also so for me, that words may be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that I may declare it boldly as I ought to speak. So in these verses, it's saying to be ready. Because at any moment, the schemes of the devil can be seen. We do live in a world where there are demons. There are people out there that are on the side of Satan. There are people that are not of good intentions. So we need to be prepared to defend against whatever evil comes our way. We need to be able to pray for protection from God. And then we need to be able to open our Bibles and be able to remember the words that are in it as a protection. The Bible is the sword of the Spirit. The Word of God is the sword. So we need to be prepared, especially now with everything that's going on. We're living in a time where the day and the hour, we might not know it, but the final battle is coming soon. Jesus will be, be returning soon, and we need to be ready for when he calls. The next thing I want to do is go over each part of the armor of God and explain what each part is. Now, the belt of truth, uh, doing research, is just the knowledge of God and his truth. So knowing that Jesus Christ is truth, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. By having the belt of truth, you know the real knowledge. The next piece of armor is the breastplate of righteousness. So we should be righteous in what we try to do. We should be doing good things and not things that are vile and evil. So anything we do, we should be doing righteous things like Jesus did and also others in the Bible did as well. The next piece of armor is the shoes of readiness. So we should be able to be ready to move wherever Christ wants us to go to spread the gospel. So if we're called to go somewhere and God wants you to go, we should take that to heart and do what he says. The next piece of armor is the shield of faith. We should always have faith in Jesus that he will prevail. Satan and his minions will do everything they can to seek and destroy and lie and be deceitful toward us. So we have to have faith so that their lies cannot hurt us. We must know the truth 
and have faith in everything that Jesus does and has done for us. The next piece of armor is the helmet of salvation. So wearing the helmet of salvation is important because having salvation, you are freed from the sin that you may commit. Now, that doesn't mean that you won't sin, but having salvation allows you to choose cr the correct path. That through Christ, you can be victorious over sin. It also protects you from the lies that Satan also may tell. So having this helmet is very important. The last piece of armor is the sword of the spirit which is literally the word of God, which also can be Jesus, but it's also the Bible. So it's the physical word of God. So if something comes against you, or you need a reference point to know the truth, your Bible is there. So use it, read it every day, sharpen your sword by reading and listen to what God says. And use all of these pieces of armor that I've talked about so that you can be prepared and ready for what's to come. Thank you for listening to this edition of Topics. We will see you again this Friday for Fact Friday.